photo op everyone's been waiting for. For the first time since Aradhya's birth, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan stepping out on the red carpet, making her first appearance at Khan this year. Dressed in an elaborate Abujani Sandeep Khosla gold embroidered sari and coordinating tailored jacket with a mandarin collar, a slimmer looking ash caught all the limelight. Earlier in the day, Ash looks stunning in a monochrome maxi dress designed by Australian designer Angelo Kitsapis. And Aishwarya was in fashionable company. With the likes of Sonam Kapoor, Jesse J, Paris Hilton and Mallika Sharavat sashing down for the charitable cause. The next day Ash was back in the fashion game in a floral kaftan by Roberto Cavalli and strappy high heel shoes. For me, this is my 10th year with L'Oreal here. One I'm not going to forget in a long time. This year is truly special. Her fourth outfit at Khan and possibly her most adventurous look for the season. The designer and old favorite, Ellie Saab. One of L'Oreal's most popular brand ambassadors at the French Riviera, Ash has been a regular at Khan, Making waves year after year for over a decade now. An actor with superstar status, a dedicated homemaker and a mother juggling red carpet and diaper duties. It isn't easy but at the same time she's good, she's great and she's taking a nap right now. I've actually put her, you know, made her go to sleep and then it's been easy to come here. It's nap time for her. Wonderful. See so you. You ask the question and I beam. <laughs> it's splendid. It's inexplicable. I mean, the joy, the bliss is just wonderful. A smile from my daughter and that's it. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually walking on air. It's just it's brilliant. All in a day's work for India's global icon, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. Last night was your first red carpet appearance post motherhood. It's so great to see you back. How much has, has your life changed? Well, the two things. My life is absolutely blissful, <laughs> and I'm very, very thankful to God uh, for this blessing for Aradhya. Um, she's just angelic, and I can't. Uh, I think every mother will gush about their baby. So I could go on and on, and I'll have to stop it right here. But I'm very, very thankful to God, and I'm very, very thankful to uh, all your viewers for um, their blessings, their best wishes, and so much love. I mean, Abhishek and me keep saying we have received so much love from people world over, right from the time we got married to my pregnancy to Aradhya coming into this world. And um, thank you, thank you so much for all your love, prayers blessings, best wishes, it means a lot and I love right back. Brilliant. It's just absolutely inexplicable. I cannot define it. It's super special and I just say I'm blessed. Thank you for this blessing. You also brought your baby here. How is it to jungle the red carpet and taking care of the diapers? Well, it's uh, multitasking. <laughs> it's been a way of life for a while now. Um, I said that after marriage as well, and now after motherhood, sure, it's it's mul multitasking completely. But um, it's um, I'm taking baby steps when it comes to getting back to work. Uh, so far, I've been really working with my brands, a couple of appearances, and my brands have been wonderful with me in helping me. Uh, plan the day the way I'd like it, the way it works to my convenience, so I'm able to deliver everything that's professionally required of me and at the same time I spend time as I'd like it with Aradhya because you know, I'm doing everything in terms of taking care of her and it's important for me to spend that time with her. I'm not filming right now, but I think I'm sure the day I'll be filming and people say, so how would you feel after this break? And I'm like, I really haven't felt the break. <laughs> And I don't mean this in a bad way. It's been another part of my life, consuming beautifully, consuming a lot of me. But uh, I feel time flying by. I have no concept of time right now. It's just flying by me. 
and I'm really uh, wonderfully ensconced in my world and that's just the way um, every day flies by. Children are a blessing from God and I've always said that when I, when I got married people would be like oh, you're gonna have a baby when are you planning a baby and I'm like it'll happen when meant to be and that's exactly what happened Aradhya is here and she is she is my angel I mean it's just absolutely um, blissful and if another if another child or children are meant to be then God knows and you know I'll, I'll receive the blessing and I'd love to <laughs> Coming up on the other side, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan shares her experience of the Khan Film Festival for over 10 years. Because my schedule wouldn't permit it, so I could only come for the first, you know, the, the opening night and another day, you know, a day or two more and then I'd have to rush back to filming. This year, because I'm not filming, I was able to work it into my schedule because Amphor really wanted me to attend, so I was like, okay, I, I, I could work out the dates that I come now. to be an actor and that's who I am but an actor is in the public eye so there will be uh, opinions uh, and I keep saying yes there is negativity uh, but I'm blessed the positivity is so much more that the negativity is just a drop and it just slides right off <laughs> it doesn't stick and I'm very thankful to everybody out there who gives me so much love and so much positive energy that it it like I said, it quite doesn't, um, the negativity doesn't come in here. It just doesn't touch me at all. So you're not one of those people that Googles themselves, that can't resist Googling themselves to see what people are saying? Uh, it's brought to your notice. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't think I need to make that effort. <laughs> I think in life it's important to be healthy but I have always enjoyed my food and I've never been one for strict diets and I'm not taking any recommendations now either <laughs> um, but um, yeah it's important to be healthy so I think what I've always done is um, you can always check on the quantity but don't deny yourself to the point of you know going crazy and then binging so uh, if there's something that you really want to have you can check on the quantity of, of how much you're consuming, but go for it, go for it. So you've told me you've been an uh, ambassador for L'Oreal for 10 years now. <laughs> Over the years, has the rush been uh, more easier or is it always hard to tackle the duties you have as an ambassador? The same rush, <laughs> the same rush and more. I think uh, it's just because um, it's been 10 years. Uh, there's so many people I've been meeting and I know already here in Cannes because what, what we do here is you're, you're meeting the world media. So there's only that much more with each passing year. There's that, that many more people that you meet, the people that you already know, there are new people that come in. So it is, uh, it is busy, but it's, it's good busy because it's, it's all very warm and great camaraderie, great exchange, great positive energy. And it's just, 